Hello and welcome to jkkmobile.com As you can see, another day, another device and this, this time it's, it's the Asus EPC 1000HE The HE is the upgraded version from the 1000H which is a 10 inch netbook uh, So, what's the difference? The main difference which you can immediately see is the keyboard This is the new new ticket keyboard uh, uh, Asus is, is uh, using and uh, I must say I'm, I have been pretty pleased with it. It's a big device so the keyboard is big but uh, the overall feel of the keys and placements like the right shift key on the on the good place is good and uh, I think good, good, comes, good, good things are good to copy and uh, about copying I have to show you the YOP and the YOP keyboard because they are really exactly the same they are both uh, I think exactly the same size same feeling and so on so Asus has learned something from from uh, Sony and I think that's just a good thing so you can see see they're pretty much the same of course YOP is, is much much uh, smaller device but but the keyboard, keyboard, it's uh, same feeling, a bit smaller just. And uh, talking about the size, of course, this is one of the biggest 10 inch, 10 inch screen netbooks. Let's compare that to HP Mini 1000, which is one of the smallest. So side by side, immediately you can see that uh, the 1000H and uh, HE looks quite a big. Let's close so you can see see where the difference is. So the difference is on the battery side and the hinge, and uh, that of course explains the battery life, which is another another uh, differentiator uh, from the others. As this uh, 9000 HE now has six cell battery, but it's uh, 65 watts, so easy seven hour battery life. And that's a good thing. So main differences to the 1000H is the keyboard and the battery life. But there's still another difference, which is that uh, it has the new N Intel N280 ADOM CPU. So it's a little bit faster, 1.66, which is again a good thing, but not that remarkable. They're they're saying one one. Uh, 9.5 hour battery life uh, uh, and so on and, and you could actually reach that if you disable Wi-Fi put the screen a bit off and so on but on re real life easily over seven hours which is already a good thing but now let's go through the device so you can see other stuff on it so basic net, net netbook stuff stuff of course we have Ethernet one USB port uh, audio port so microphone headset on the front we have nothing but actually we have speaker grills on the bottom so these speakers again like on many Asus devices are on the bottom which actually is good when you use it on table but bad if it's in the, your lap SD card slot two more USB slots uh, ports VGA out and power then let's go to the keyboard front so we have this new keyboard and we also have a, have a buttons to launch the uh, uh, CPU speed and, and, and zoom the screen also two programmable buttons over there then the multi multi um, finger or multi touch keypad with the mouse buttons this is something I really like I, I really like this multi multi touch pad and then we have the webcam which is now on this model it's 1.3 megapixels and the mic and uh, the webcam seems to be okay I can briefly show it to you so it's it seems to be on the better end of the netbook so here I am hello hello works fine And then again going through the device we have the glossy lid which I don't like as you can see what happens when it's glossy you get all the finger 
finger marks there, but it doesn't, it's not that bad because this device is blue, but if, if it would be black, which I like the most, it, it would be quite bad. But the bottom side actually is not, not glossy, so that's a better thing. And over here we also have a hatch to access the RAM and, uh, and uh, HDD, which is 2.5 inches, so you have easy options to upgrade that to bigger or maybe to faster SSD. Let's take a look there. This one has two screws and then you have access to 2.5 inch hard drive and RAM. You can't anymore access the Wi-Fi as it's over there. And uh, we can also see that uh, there is some some other goodies hiding there so actually there's a place for for small ssd and a place for for 3g modem over there but they don't have the connectors so there's actually quite a lot of room for modifications over here so you could install uh, quite big big extra stuff if you would need it uh, this device itself really uh, doesn't need much as it's it comes with a good uh, and Wi-Fi, it comes with Bluetooth, again the webcam is already there. 3G is missing, so that would be of course something for for modders, where maybe I will show that, how to mod that later. Uh, on use, I think, uh, like I told, the, the biggest new things on this device is the keyboard. I'm, I've been really pleased with that of course i'm not a touch typist so i, I didn't really miss that much i'm happy with mo smaller keyboards but the placement of the shift uh, was welcomed for me but the battery life that's the main thing even this is one of the heaviest and biggest uh, 10 inch netbooks uh, the nice battery life of course gives it uh, even more freedom on mobile use not my favorite mobile device uh, from the netbooks but still one of the best ones uh, if you look at the mobility front good nice speeds of course uh, uh, and uh, good multitouch for for surfing so let's say let's go to google news so you can see how it works so when you want to scroll you just place two fingers to the mousepad and scroll and that works nicely it's it's really nice and then when you want to uh, go back you just slide three fingers and if you go want to go forward you just slide three fingers and if you want to click with two fingers you can set that to to open on another tab so nice nice features overall i'm i i have the multitouch on my 900a which is my my mobile device and uh, I I really enjoy enjoy that. That's that's one of the best features on EPCs. Uh, other features, it has of course uh, like all all the versions of XP versions. It has the the Star Office Eight installed, so you don't have to buy full Office if you don't want. Um, all the Windows Live stuff there too, I don't know if you need those, but if you do, they're already installed, which is of course nice. On the software front, same as on all the PCs, you have this uh, super hybrid engine, which actually is a really good thing. Let's zoom a bit to the screen more. So, the hybrid engine means that, uh, let's see, you can't really see that I'm afraid let's try to zoom in there so so it means that you have option to, to have diff different performance modes so on auto mode your com uh, netbook is always uh, checking the power so if the power supply is there it gives you full power if it's not if you're running on battery it goes to power savings and that's one good thing then you can also force it to power savings on on uh, even it's not uh, on a battery then you can force it to high performance and super performance so all these modes are good for different things if you really need the power now and don't care about the battery go to super performance and uh, 
and if you really need the battery but not the power use the power savings always so this is nice from asus also, of course also uh, the asus epc tray utility where you can disable the wan bluetooth and the cam and also adjust the resolutions because you can actually actually have the uh, bigger resolution to the screen but it actually is uh, interpolates that with software so I'll show you now so now oh now it's the scrolling mode okay so this is not that nice mode let me see if I can yep compress mode is now on so it it squeezes the uh, higher resolution to the screen which means that you can see see hopefully there so it squeezes everything so like the round uh, oh, sorry the zoom is not that nice right now so everything that's round or square on the screen is is now flattened because it's not the real resolution but it's a good option if you need to need to install a software that that needs a higher resolution than the device can give you again uh, most EPCs have exactly the same software, so so it's uh, nothing special to this device, but it's good to show as uh, there are many networks that don't give you any any uh, usability software. So I I like the options of of, of this uh, EPC. Uh, again, about the multi-touch pad, you you still have quite many options for that let's open the options window and zoom a bit so you can see see what kind of off options it's offering so you can you can uh, uh, set up the buttons of course the way you want so that's nothing new you can you can disable the tapping when you are using the keyboard and you can scroll either vertical or horizontally and you can you can uh, also adjust the speed which is typically needed and you can use this for zooming pictures or websites that's a cool feature rotation you can rotate the pictures by two fingers and uh, track and drop uh, is supported also magnifying class I don't have any use for that but you may have the swipe is the one I'm really using uh, the one of the best features after scrolling so so getting page down page up or next and forward and also you can switch windows so let me show you let's open something like my computer here so now if I uh, let's zoom back a bit so you can see what I'm doing so now now if I bring my three fingers to the mouse pad and and, and drag down I can see the list of open windows over there and then just by moving the three fingers to either side I can I can swap the application I'm using I'm using this also quite often I I like it okay those were the multi touch pad settings settings so as told you already many times this is nice feature of course if you use external mouse then it's then it's nothing to you bluetooth by standard that's a nice thing especially as it's quite cheap uh, compared to the uh, options it has so about 400 dollars which is which is really a good price for for all these features i think that was all for now this was asus epc 1000 he model with good battery life with a new new uh, keyboard I'll be of course testing a bit more maybe checking if I can easily upgrade the 3G test some SSD speeds on it and so on but this was all for now thank you for watching check my site jkkmobile.com for more thank you bye